Hello everyone, Dividend Fire here. And this is my video bringing the update about my portfolio of September. So I will share the dividends which is September. I know, I know, we are quite late. We are already 8th of October, but the day when we're recording this video and probably we'll be releasing the video on the same day. Uh, so yes, I'm a bit late because of some personal life reasons. Uh, I just, I, as I commented in previous video, I had bought a property, I bought a house, so I was moving. So yeah, uh, moving is a mess, but I dropped the ball and because it's complicated. <laughs> Whoever did a moving at some point, I think will understand me, but we are back to the routine. It's still a lot of things to sort it out about moving, about a new place, but um, we get a fix on track. Uh, but one important thing, I, I had missing videos, but I didn't miss on my dividend investing. And that's what I'm going to share with you guys today, okay? So just a quick overview before we go about the dividend payers of this month. Who remember, who doesn't, I'm here to remind you, or if you're new to the channel, I am the road to 100K. I want to retire as early as possible, but I broke down my goals so they are be more act activable. First, a goal of 10,000, 25, 50, and 100,000. I'm not going to be able to retire with 100,000, but it's interesting to break it down so we can conquer victory by victory, step by step, and we get there, okay? Um, overall, I like to invest in stocks. It start to at least a yield of 5% and get there the most of growth as possible, but I'm not... Um, a type of investor that uh, seeks like a lot of growth. I like to get a dividend yield that makes me happy, at least 5% in a very reliable stocks that have commitment with shareholders to increase the dividends. And I'm trying to get advantage of uh, current macroeconomics, current uh, stocks struggle, current company struggle that I believe is only a temporary situation that in the long run, uh, the company will be able to show its true colors. Um, so I'm trying to abide to that thought of uh, be brave when others are fearful and being fearful when the others are brave. I know that's even saying than done. I see there's a lot of fear in the market and that's the time people start to scoop, um, putting their hands dirty, but no, I see people are being scared. So it's hard because you think, should I be scared? There's a real reason or um, or am I just following the herd? So that's what I'm trying to avoid here. I'm trying to avoid the herd, okay? But uh, with no more uh, delays, let's start to the dividend payers. So this month I received three dividends and it's for the first dividend payment was from Microsoft. I have four shares of Microsoft. It paid me 2.72 cents. My second dividend payer here was Realty Income. That's my first dividends from Realty Income uh, for 18 shares that I had at the moment. But I already had more shares. I bought more shares of Realty Income on this month, September. And so next month, I'm already going to be receiving more dividends from Realty Com. That's really exciting. And 10 shares of Chromecast brought me over $15 on dividend this month, September. I bought more shares of Realty Com and also bought more shares of Chromecast on this month of September. And I'll show you guys all the purchases um, later on on this video. So this brings us for the total of the month of September of... 22.97, let's round there, $22 for the month of September, which is not as exciting as the previous months, but uh, we are talking here about two new dividend payers that I never received dividend from then, so they will be adding up for the next months, so we can expect the next months to be nicer than it used to be. So, okay, September is a weak month, but you can see here, uh, the September here is the third month of the quarter and the same thing happened last quarter. Last quarter, the third month of the quarter was June. So, uh, but it's okay. At least September beat June and it's already good. And we're going to try to, every time, try to get better uh, than we were before. So saying that, this brings the total for the quarter of 155. 
So we close Q3 with success here for $155, way above of Q2, way above Q1. So that's exciting seeing the dividend snowball rolling in my favor. And this being the total of the year so far, 2023, we are receiving over $260 way above 2022 so it's nice to see the gap i mean over 300 percent more what i'm receiving dividends than 2022 so this is really nice and i'm excited to see how this number goes by the end of the year and then i'm excited what is coming from 2024 as well but before going talking about the future let's do talk about uh, September. So I bought more 10 shares of Realty Income in September. I bought more 86 shares of MPW and I bought more 11 shares of Chrome Castle. So the total of my portfolio is now over 1,300,000. Yep, yeah, 1,300,000. That's cool to see here, this portfolio increasing. We're going to beat, I'm excited to beat this market 25,000, we're getting there. On the 100k journey, we are just above 13% and the bar is loading and we get there because the bar is loading and we won't stop. Talking about the breakdown of the month, like how I was able to buy so many shares on this month. Yeah, so many shares of MPW, Chrome Castle and Real Income. Breaking down here, my, this is my salary for the month. I didn't have YouTube earnings because this channel doesn't pay me yet, but one day we get there. Uh, now that I have my mortgage, I put in every month five hundred dollars for my from my salary to pay extra on my mortgage because I want to um, pay my mortgage as early as possible so I can retire. Retire. Uh, I, I need less money to retire, so this will help me to retire. That's part of my plan, and I'm investing five hundred every month which um, which equates of uh, over 13 percent nearly 14 percent of my salary going to investing uh, but uh, what happened here so i'm trying to put up uh, the goal of 2023 was putting 500 every month which would get a total for the year of six thousand but a september here we went out of the curve so july august i missed on putting my 500 because i was starting um, was preparing for the house purchase and so my house purchase happened in August and in September uh, I got the keys I got the move in September and September was free from this house uh, hunt free from this house planning it's already happened so I now that I had some extra capital from the house that I was uh, able to put back to play so uh, I, I put my 500 for the month and I was able to also put the 500 from July and August that I was missing, which would be 1,500. And I still was able to put another 500 in a total September, I added 2,000. That's amazing. So the goal is total the year to get 6,000 and we're already 5,000. I already still have October, November and December to go. And I'm going to be aggressive to it. I'm already preparing. Like the 2023 was 500 a month and I'm preparing myself to try to increase the number for 2024. But we get there, when we get 2024, I share with you guys what are the new goals, okay? Let's just discuss here about uh, our portfolio. So over 13% of our goal to 100,000, we're getting there. Uh, so my portfolio is down. Uh, now it's a bit, it's not this, not exactly numbers from the end of September. We already started October. So uh, it's up to date this data, is my spreadsheets updates and I don't have the exact record uh, of the month. So I apologize. But uh, at the moment, I'm down 90%. When you consider dividends, uh, I'm down um, nearly 7%. Um, here are my positions. I have this uh, 10 cents is a Chinese stock that's been beating down. It's not a dividend stock, but it pays some dividends. So I had to put it here. I felt that I had to put it here. Uh, but at some point, I want to sell. When Chinese stocks recovers, I want to sell. I allocated some dividend stocks that I like more. Okay, so now that I purchased more 10 shares of, of uh, real income, so not only 18 shares, now I have 28, which means next month I'll get paid more. Chromecast, so I have not only 10 shares anymore, I have uh, uh, 21. 
I'll get more pay in the next quarter I'll pay more money from Concastle that's nice to see and also I'd add more shares of MPW as I showed earlier MPW now um, as, as same thing next payments I'll receive more money so I'm excited to what's coming for the next few months will be very exciting because since I've been very aggressive adding the most money I can we will see guys this is dividend snowball in no time it will be hitting it will be hitting hard so that's why I highly recommend you guys subscribe to the channel because here I'm a dividend fire and I'm on fire especially that now I acquired my house uh, things are getting more organized I've been playing these things for quite a while and things I've been playing is kind of working well so more things are working well more I am getting confident and more I can place things in the right place and putting my strategy to the maximum of this potential so you guys will see that uh, more and more I'm trying to be aggressive here to add more money I've been very aggressive in my own job as well seeking for raises so I can have more capital to add it to my portfolio okay so here I'm dividend fire highly recommend you guys subscribe to the channel to follow all this journey because ideally I'm bringing videos every single Sunday okay so that's for today that's the video see you guys next video and bye bye